All right, first, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this off because as I was editing last week, I realized how annoying that was. What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two, technically, because the first one was like episode zero is the problem. Wait, there's your director and your producer. Always, always got to harass my dog. Always got to harass my dog. Anyway, so we're moving along at a pretty steady pace, I think. This is where the old stuff used to be, right? That's where the old setup used to be. This gentleman has this old stand already set up. We're going to drop that right here. And now we've got this set up. I put up five. Some people might say that's too many. I don't want to be too careful because this is my only large screen TV and these are all my consoles. So I put up five posts for this six foot board uh, and that is uh, six foot by 11 and a half inch deep. I actually also gave it another inch and a half off the wall. Uh, so it gives us a nice lip here from the, from the actual posts, just like a little bit half inch post wall, post gap. I don't know what I'm talking about, whatever. It gives us a little bit of overhang, but it also gives us space in the back to actually do the cable management. Nothing's plugged in as you can see. I'm not just like ridiculous with cable management. Nothing's plugged in because this man gave me an idea. We're gonna possibly see about setting up an outlet in the laundry room on the backside and then just drilling a hole in the be behind here, not in this, behind this. <laughs> and uh, seeing if we could just run all the cabling to the back. Additionally, obviously the computer's still over here. That needs a home. This has not been put on the casters. I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow for the rest of this video. Uh, I'm going to basically have to take everything off of this. So I've got to find homes for the games and those computers. One of those computers actually spoken for. I'm building that for a friend. Uh, Sponsor. Just, just no, kidding. No. Just, just kidding. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> um, it is delicious though. <laughs> so but we're going to put that on casters. We're going to put that in the closet. So that's out of the way. And then we're going to take the slow and painstaking job of tearing the rest of this room down so that we can tear off the wood paneling. Already started that process actually. You guys wanna see this little this little gem of the 70s right here. Some some drywall for you. Gem right here, classic. Little geometric shapes and colors of you know some browns and oranges. Just like real classy, <laughs> real classy 70s colors. Uh, but I think this is gonna look real sharp. We're gonna do, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I was originally, the original plan was gonna be this shelf and then one more shelf for the consoles same kind of like simple what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to do two smaller shelves on this side so like boom boom and then one big shelf for the t for the computer so then i've still got the computer in the same case it's still the same like nice decent computer as opposed to like putting together some small streamer i'm just going to have the nice big computer and just use that as i meant to and but that obviously can't happen until the actual walls are done so I'm having an electrician come out this week to figure out the electrical situation in the house. Once that's done, during that process, I'm gonna ask him if we can get another outlet on the other side and then go from there. Now, I'll show you guys some of the some of the clips of how this came together, the work that came into it. This, by the way, this, this was the simplest thing. I just wanna say, these are about eight bucks. These are from uh, Home Depot, eight bucks a pop. They're nine by 12. This is an 11, an 11 and a half by six foot board, but it was pre-cut. It was there like cheap boards there was like nicer boards that you wouldn't have to sand as much but like it changed like a matter of 30 minutes of work to a $30 difference in prices with like $35 versus $11 like $20 whatever this was $11.75 and the 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 stain which would be good good for like 50 boards was like eight bucks so I used the old t-shirt to stain it <laughs> We're mobile 
because this is now mobile. I've got uh, maybe too many bags. Kind of narrow the collection down. But this is my go bag. That's kind of my daily bag. That is two Amazon Basics bags, although I am getting a large payload base for this. Uh, so I probably will be getting rid of one of those. That's just some extra stuff. I got the safe. I got a, the Batmobile and controller. That's what I use to record um, low angle footage with like a GoPro or action cam. Uh, still have yet to get actually to work properly because I was using the Vivitar and the Vivitar, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't making it, it wasn't making the cut. I don't know how that's going to look. It's kind of a weird angle because I didn't flip the camera around. I mean, that's it really. The only other thing I've got left to do is kind of find those at home. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. That is this week's video, this week's update. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably been two weeks. I, I legitimately can't even keep track of when I uploaded, but we're going to be uploading this this week. Next, uh, the next video is going to be the cleanup the the where all this ends up at least in the temporary while we get everything else ready hopefully we'll also get an electrician out here get an estimate of what needs to be done how much it's going to cost as well as actually a an estimate maybe on the actual wall work and we might start ripping off the wall as well thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next one ha.